Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd ayyul ahabati fillah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilman nafiyah wa rizqan tayyiba wa amalan mutaqabbilan and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and bless us all to go forward and do righteous deeds. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ahabatifillah, Imam Bukhari, Rahimullah Ta'ala, he entitled one of the chapters in Sahih al Bukhari called Bab Halawat al Iman, the chapter of the sweetness of faith. And as we witness many things in this dunya which are sweet and delightful to us and that we enjoy and that we indulge in. The greatest thing that you can truly benefit and taste as pure sweetness is Iman, the Halawat al-Iman. Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala said, حدثنا محمد بن مثنى قال حدثنا عبد الوهاب الثقفي قال حدثنا أيوب عن أبي قلابة عن أنس رضي الله تعالى عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ثلاث من كن فيه وجد حلاوة الإيمان أن يكون الله ورسوله أحب أحب إليه مما سواهما وَأَنْ يُحَبَّ مَرْأَ الْمَرْءُ لَا يُحِبُّهُ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ وَأَنْ يَقْرَهُ أَنْ يَعُودُ فِي الْكُفْرِ كَمَا يَقْرَهُ أَنْ يَلْقَى فِي النَّارِ Imam Bukhari said, Rahmatullahi alayhi, after mentioning the narrators of the hadith, the hadith of Anas bin Malik رضي الله تعالى who said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Three have tasted that if they have these three characteristics, they have tasted the sweetness of Iman, the sweetness of faith. That Allah and His Messenger وسلم, are more beloved to Him than anything else. And that a person loves someone else strictly for the sake of Allah. And that the person hates or detests to return to disbelief similar to the way that they hate and detest to go to the hellfire. Ahabif Tifillah, this hadith is azim. And it shows us what the true sweetness of Iman is. Because if a person is lived, for some of us who have live the life of disbelief who were not Muslim and then we embraced Islam, we've had a chance to experience both lives, both lifestyles. And the sweetness of Iman, of that relationship with your Lord, there is nothing greater than that. There is nothing greater than that because truly sweet Iman, meaning a person who, who really experiences a high... Uh, the haqiqat al-iman, the reality of faith in iman, then they will love that more than anything else in this life. That even if they become weak, even if sinfulness, even if something tries to deter them, that they detest to leave iman. They detest kufr, disbelief. And that's the haqiqat al-iman. Many people from our brothers and sisters don't experience that. Especially if they have left iman, meaning they left Islam. Then they never really truly tasted the sweetness of iman. Or they allowed something to take them away from that sweetness. So in the hadith, the Prophet wasallam mentioned three who that if they have these characteristics, then they have tasted the sweetness of Iman. That's haqiqat al-Iman. 
And the first characteristic is that they love Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, more than anything else in the world. And those people who worship the right to be free to speak about anything and to curse anyone's religion can't understand that. They can't understand why the Muslims become angry when their beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is ridiculed or cursed. Or that when people ridicule the symbols of uh, the, 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 the verse, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially his Quran or ridiculing Allah Azza wa Jal or the, any of the messengers. We detest when people speak about Isa and Isa salatu wasalam. Those are the most beloved things to us in this life. So the first characteristic is that they love Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than anything. The second characteristic of a person who has truly achieved uh, the sweetness, has tasted some of the fruit of Iman, is that they love a person just for the sake of Allah. They didn't love them because they were the same tribe as them. They didn't love them and have that suhbah with them or what have you because they were the same color or the same nationality or from the same neighborhood. But rather they loved the person strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe they met this person. Maybe they never met this person. But they love them in their heart only for the sake of Allah. Because they like something of obedience that they see a characteristic of Iman in that person. So then they strictly love that person for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The person could have been a great mujahid. The person could have been an alam. The person could have been simply just someone Performing the salat in a place where all the where they're surrounded by people who disbelieve in Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But for whatever reason, you love that person strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa taala, because you see them doing an act of obedience to Allah azza wa jal. Then this person has tasted the sweet of sweetness of Iman that they are one of those people, and the last person is the the one who detests returning to disbelief after they have tasted faith in Iman as much as they detest going in the fire because no one, even those people who ridicule and don't believe in the hellfire, do not want to go to the hellfire. They don't believe in the fire, but they don't even want to be burned in this life, even a little bit, even on their finger. And for sure they don't want to experience jumping into fire. So the one who detests going back or detests disbelief and going to disbelief, leaving off the yoke of Iman, the yoke of Islam, equally as much as they detest being thrown in the hellfire, this person has tasted Iman. They've tasted the sweetness of faith as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam has said. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who taste the sweetness of Iman. Wa Sallallahu Wasallam ala Nabiyyina Muhammad.